From gravity-defying cities to sky-touching pyramids, these visionary projects aim to reshape how we live, but none became reality. Imagine walking through a city suspended in the air or living inside a grand-scale design that redefines architecture. These concepts push the boundaries of innovation, yet they all faced insurmountable challenges. Technical limitations, financial hurdles, and even political shifts. So what stopped these dreams from coming to life? And what can they teach us about the relentless pursuit of progress? Join us as we dive into the stories behind these daring ideas and uncover why they never made it off the drawing board. Imagine a pyramid rising 2,004 meters above Tokyo Bay, 14 times taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Shimizu Megacity Pyramid, or Tri-2004, was designed to house up to 1 million people with everything from homes to parks inside its eight square kilometer frame. But could this dream ever become reality? The pyramid's design relies on futuristic materials like carbon nanotubes and graphene, which are ultra strong yet lightweight. Even more impressive, its surface would be coated with photovoltaic film, turning sunlight into energy to power the entire city. But here's the catch. The project comes with a staggering $1.5 trillion price tag. Add to that the engineering challenges of building something so massive, and it's no wonder the project remains a concept. Despite its hurdles, the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid sparks our imagination. It's a glimpse into a future where creativity and innovation could redefine urban living. If we can overcome the barriers of cost and technology, but as we'll see, this isn't the only ambitious project that never made it off the drawing board. While Japan's pyramid remains a futuristic dream, another ambitious project from the past, Tatlin's Tower, shows how even revolutionary ideas can falter. Picture a tower rising 400 meters into the sky, far taller than the Eiffel Tower. Designed by Vladimir Tatlin in 1919, this monument to the Third International was meant to symbolize the Soviet Union's revolutionary ideals. Its spiraling design featured rotating geometric structures, each with a unique purpose. A cube for policy discussions, a pyramid for executive activities, and more. But as bold as this vision was, it faced insurmountable challenges. The cost was astronomical, and post-revolutionary Russia simply didn't have the resources to build it. Though Tatlin's tower was never constructed, it remains a powerful symbol of the avant-garde spirit of its time. What do you think? If Tatlin's tower had been built, would it have shaped the future of architecture and the Soviet Union? Let's move from revolutionary Russia to another nation with grand ambitions, North Korea. From revolutionary Russia to the isolated nation of North Korea, the Ryogyong Hotel tells a different story of ambition and struggle. Nicknamed the Hotel of Doom, this 330-meter-tall pyramid-shaped skyscraper dominates Pyongyang's skyline. Conceived in 1987 as a symbol of North Korea's innovation, it was designed to house luxurious hotel rooms, restaurants, and even revolving floors. But the project was abruptly paused in 1992, following the collapse of the Soviet Union. North Korea's key ally, for years, the Rugyang Hotel stood as a windowless shell, a ghostly reminder of unfulfilled dreams. Though construction resumed in 2008, the interior remains unfinished to this day. Even in its incomplete state, the hotel stands as a powerful symbol of the challenges of turning grand visions into reality. What's fascinating is that in 2018, the hotel received a surprising upgrade, a massive LED display on one side lighting up the Pyongyang skyline with propaganda and film scenes. But despite this flashy addition, the hotel has yet to welcome its first guest. It's a stark reminder that even the most ambitious projects can fall victim to economic and political realities. From Japan's futuristic pyramid to Russia's revolutionary tower and North Korea's towering hotel, these projects remind us that the road to greatness is rarely smooth. They show us the power of human imagination in the harsh realities that can ground even the most daring dreams. But what about projects that made it further, 
only to fail in unexpected ways. Stick around as we dive into the next segment, projects that almost made it. Imagine a massive glass dome arching over the heart of New York City, covering midtown Manhattan from the East River to the Hudson River. This wasn't just a dream, it was a serious proposal by architect Buckminster Fuller in the late 1960s. His goal? To combat climate change, control the weather, and revolutionize urban living. But with a jaw-dropping $200 billion price tag, the Manhattan Dome remained just that, a vision. The design was as futuristic as it gets, a shatterproof glass dome reinforced with wire and misted with aluminum to reduce glare. It would have regulated temperatures, eliminating the need for separate heating and cooling systems. Fuller even claimed it could cut New York's energy usage to just 20% of its 1960 levels. But the sheer scale, engineering challenges, and astronomical cost made it impossible to realize. Despite never being built, the Manhattan Dome remains a symbol of bold thinking. It makes us wonder, could such an idea become reality today with modern technology and materials? Let's move from New York to another visionary concept, this time from France. In 1922, Swiss-French architect Le Corbusier proposed the Ville Contemporaine, or Contemporary City, a futuristic metropolis designed for three million people. At its heart were sleek, 60-story skyscrapers made of glass and steel, offering luxurious living spaces for the elite. Surrounding these towers were lush green zones, blending nature with urban life. The city's transportation hub was equally innovative, connecting buses, trains, highways, and even an airport. Pedestrians had their own paths, separate from roadways. But there was a catch. Le Corbusier's design prioritized automobiles, a concept that clashes with today's focus on sustainability. Critics also argued that the Ville Contemporaine could erase the social fabric of city life, creating a soulless system rather than a vibrant community. What do you think? Could you see yourself living in a city like this? Or do you prefer a more traditional urban setup? As we'll see next, some architects took urban living to even greater heights, literally. From utopian cities to towering skyscrapers, our next segment explores projects that aim to solve urban challenges by reaching for the sky. Imagine a cone-shaped skyscraper soaring 840 meters into the sky, with 180 floors housing 60,000 people. Designed by Sir Norman Foster in 1989, the Millennium Tower was meant to tackle Tokyo's overpopulation and land shortages. Built two kilometers offshore in Tokyo Bay, it would have been a self-contained community with offices, shops, and renewable energy systems. The design was as futuristic as it gets. A base as large as the Tokyo Olympic Stadium, reinforced with water-filled steel tanks to withstand earthquakes and wind. But with a $10 billion price tag and technology that wasn't ready, the Millennium Tower remained a dream. What's fascinating is how these ideas keep evolving. Let's look at another towering vision, this time from China. From Japan's Millennium Tower, we moved to China, where architects envisioned a vertical city inspired by nature itself. Picture a tower reaching 1,228 meters into the sky, with 300 floors housing 100,000 people. Designed by Spanish architects Eloy Celaya, Maria Rosa Cervera, and Javier Gomez, the Bionic Tower was a biomimetic marvel. It featured 12 vertical neighborhoods, each 80 meters high, and a man-made island at its base with gardens, pools, and renewable energy systems. The tower was designed to run entirely on solar, wind, and biomass energy. But with an estimated cost of $16 billion and engineering challenges, that pushed the limits of possibility, the Bionic Tower remains a concept. Could a vertical city like this be the future of urban living, or is it just a dream too far ahead of its time? Let's push the boundaries even further with our next project. From China's Bionic Tower, we head to the United States, where one architect envisioned a skyscraper so tall it would redefine the skyline. Imagine a 3,353-meter-tall 3 skyscraper with 500 floors, housing a million people. Designed by architect Eugene Sui in 1991, the Ultima Tower was inspired by African termite mounds. Its trumpet-shaped design included zones for exercise, recreation, 
and year-round climate control, all powered by renewable energy. But with a $210 billion price tag and construction spanning eight decades, the Ultima Tower remains a vision of what could be. It's a reminder that even the most ambitious ideas can inspire us to rethink the future of cities. Speaking of ambitious ideas, let's move to our final segment, projects that were cut short despite their groundbreaking potential. Imagine a 2,001-meter tall skyscraper with 500 floors, housing 450,000 people. Proposed by the Obayashi Corporation in 1989, Aeropolis 2001 was designed to be a self-sustaining vertical city. It included offices, apartments, schools, hospitals, and even a shuttle lift that could reach the top in just 15 minutes. But with a $343 billion price tag and construction taking 25 years, the project was too ambitious to realize. Still, it remains a testament to the power of visionary thinking. Let's look at one final project that pushed the limits of architecture. From Japan's Aeropolis 2001, we head to the United States where architects dreamed of a skyscraper that would dominate the Houston skyline. Proposed in the 1970s, the Houston Tower was a 500-story skyscraper, rising 2,092 meters above the city. Its design featured triangular tubes bundled together, stretching over 16 city blocks. But with technical challenges and a cost that was simply too high, the project never materialized. Even so, the Houston Tower reminds us that bold ideas can shape the way we think about the future of cities. What do you think? Could any of these projects become reality in the future? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations into the world of ambitious ideas.